Okay, now in this tutorial of Photoshop CS5 for photographers, we're going to talk about some of the adjustments you can make to a photograph. The easiest way in CS5 is right here within the adjustments uh, palette. There's brightness and contrast. I never touch it. I would rather use levels or curves. So if I click on this button here, it automatically makes a new layer, it shows me a histogram uh, from 0 to 255, and gives me the options to manipulate it a little bit. One way to bring more contrast into the picture is to use clipping within levels. So I can take this slider right here and move it in about 10, somewhere in there and you probably saw it got a little bit darker and if I move the one on the right in about six or seven it gets a little bit brighter in the bright spots so the dark spots got darker the bright spots got brighter and the result was added contrast if I will I'll click this on and off to toggle it and you can probably see some subtle differences but this version definitely looks better. Let me take it to an extreme and just bring it in farther to show you what we have. Now in reality what's happening is is all of these all of this data information on the outside of this and on the outside of this slider is being clipped out and it's not being used at all. So essentially we're using fewer colors on the outer edges and so in this case we have too much contrast but there it's it's not too bad at all what I would actually prefer to use is the curves the curves actually has the same slider we can bring it in on either side and get similar results pretty much the same thing happened but now we have the addition of the the curve that we could pull down here and raise up on the higher end and we've got even more contrast there and so that looks pretty darn good now again we can take it to extremes and really drop that and really raise that and that might be what somebody's looking for, but it's not uh, exactly the best portrait in the world to those extremes. All right, let's back out. Um, we can also make adjustments going to image adjustments. And let's say look at exposure. This is another one that I don't use, but instead of having our dialog box over here, we have it in its own little palette and so you can adjust the exposure um, different offsets and everything again this isn't something I, I'm not really familiar with because I just don't use it I use curves most of the time but if you click OK it made the adjustment right onto your layer so you can see that that setting is right here but there's no layer that's the disadvantage. You're working right on top of the picture and if you do more work uh, on that picture and you come back and you decide that that wasn't the best setting that you you know you could have done you're you're pretty much stuck with it and so there's the there's the beauty of having it as a layer. Another way to make a layer adjustment is this key right here this button click on that and it gives you plenty of options so let's look at vibrance vibrance gives you the vibrant slider and saturation now we used to just have saturation and what that is you can raise it and it's going to boost the colors but in portraits too much saturation always looks bad it makes skin tones look really orange if we were to take the saturation all the way back it's going to give us no color at all in a black and white image. So let's go back and make this zero. Or well, you know, in this case I might 
go to four or five uh, on saturation and that's going to help us some but vibrance I love because vibrance is going to boost the colors in the background but it's going to uh, boost the skin tones much slower um, it's not going to have the impact that saturation does we can take it up to higher levels and you can see that it's going to have some impact but it's going to boost our our background uh, in a really nice way back out of that our next is the hue and saturation the hue and saturation pretty simple uh, this is what has been there for a long time in Photoshop you can just bring this up but if you want to get clever and you want some uh, some really artistic off-the-wall pictures uh, you can take the color or the hue slider and adjust it and it's going to change the whole picture and now it looks like we have somebody from Star Trek on a different planet with blue grass uh, so it's not going to make the most beautiful portraits but there are times where it comes in use um, and in a different tutorial I'll show you how I use uh, this hue and saturation adjustment to whiten teeth 